اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اقرا باسم ربک الذی خلق خلق الانسان من حلق صدق اللہ العظیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحل العقدت من لسان یفقہ قولی ریسپیکٹڈ ویورز اور لسنرز السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ دی ورسز وچ آئی ہیو ریسائٹڈ از فرام سورہ العلق Chapter 96, verse number 1 and 2, Allah says, Read in thy name of your Lord. Read in thy name of your Lord who has created you from the blood, the clot of a blood. Actually, these verses, the first five verses of Surah Al-Alaq, chapter 96, were revealed to Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him at Ghare Hira the first five verses and then the Islam was spread on and on you see today the topic is knowledge versus information most of us we know very well about knowledge and information which have been rattling around in our parameters but actually do we really possess or do we really understand today's knowledge or a real knowledge or information this is what i will inshallah expound and explain to my viewers and listeners you see technically when any one of us we have a knowledge about certain products we think that we are so much informative actually we are not for example if you ask any youngster about the specification of a new mobile he will rattle it out that you won't be you won't be able to believe that how come you know this guy knows so much information about a particular gadget but you know what this is not knowledge but he thinks himself that he is the most knowledgeable person which is not true he is not knowledgeable person actually what he is doing he is just having an information prophet muhammad peace be upon him said before the day of judgment people will be having a lot of information but knowledge will be taken away from them knowledge will not be there all information and through that information you think that you know everything but this is not the case the ayah that is why i read in the beginning read in thy name of your lord today we are reading in the name of science or in the name of the scientists in plural this is the unfortunate part of ourselves you see let me tell you something rockefeller is the person who started in this era a kind of knowledge and information actually who started yes exactly he the person rockefeller he started this all new advanced kind of knowledge which is totally based on capitalistic society where he made an algorithm or dynamics where you will always be a slave to run his mechanism the mechanism he postulated or proposed that all mechanism you are having around you even you are having phd degrees or how intellectual you are that is all what you are the slave the slave and the enigma which this rockefeller he put to the rest of the world you are under that limbreth or that enigma you can never be able to come out from that bubble because that is the only function that is the only system you have in front of you 
But where is the real knowledge? Real knowledge you will never find now because the era which you are living with now, the jal, which means the commotions or trickster, whatever you see, that is not real. Whatever is there, that is the real thing is fake. The fake thing is real. AI. Look at AI, what AI is bringing now into the rest of the world. They change their voices. <clears throat> they change their faces. They, they change your idiosyncrasy. They change your whole body language. You do not know who you are. What, what is the personality or characteristic of any person? They all are changed now. And you are living, unfortunately, in this era where you will find this sickness more and more. So the main purpose of this lecture is we have lost the value of real knowledge. What averagely a person thinks or today's era we think that you are graduated or you graduate from the university. You did, you know, bachelor's, then you did master's or if you are too much fortunate, you also do what you call PhD or MPhil, etc. After that, you start thinking that I am the most qualified person or I am the most intellectual person, which is not true. Anyone can be intellectual. You see, a person, if he has the habit of first understanding the thing before the implementation, he is intellectual. PhD doesn't prove anything. He is the emotional person. And in emotional people, they change the world. Either introverts or extroverts. They change the world. So having the emotional value in you makes the revolution in the world. Not your degrees, not your alma mater. But people think that you are so much qualified, so you are able, you know, you can do anything. You can, you, uh, the people will start, you know, bowing, bowing down to you, which is not the case. This is actually the Rockefeller paradigm, you know, shift he created in the past or the praxis of hegemony, which he created the pyramids where these things are superior to others. You people are down and they created all these scales of salaries, sectors, blue collar, white collar, CEO, presidents, executive chief officers, all these things are created or the curse of capitalistic society. And who is the puppet master Rockefeller? He created and postulated these theories and his dynamics, which we are stuck. If you do not follow his dynamics, you cannot have a job. You cannot have anything which are, you know, what you call facilities to enjoy your life. No prerogatives for you and no privileges for you. So if you want to have good privileges, you have to follow Rockefeller medium. And this is the unfortunate part for being Muslims. Ibn Khaldun and many other philosophers and thinkers in the past, they have created all these new educational system. And now, unfortunately, we do not know so we are stuck in the system. What is the solution? Solution is only one. You have to uproot all these things by putting the true methodology of Islamic eschatology, which was laid by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, blueprint and implemented by four guided caliphates. There is no other way. Look at the Islam in Baghdad at the time of Ibn Jafir Ibn al-Mansur. The advanced medicines, Muslims were, you know, on the highest level in Baghdad. It was the great paradigm shift and how much prolific scholars, pioneered scholars, they produced in those universities. Now we have lost it. They angelicized the names. They Latinized the names. Who knows how to catch the joke? Nobody knows what is the truth. So the information is there to you. But knowledge is taken away. I always tell people, you can never have that knowledge. The real knowledge is kept by those secret societies. 
Rockefellers, Rothschilds, Jews, all these people, the secrets are free missionaries. They have been working the social engineering for many years it has been going on. It's not new. And this is what it is. Can you believe from which part we are not being hit? Everywhere you go, it is only declining, downfalling of the Muslim civilization. I pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially the people who are in universities, the schools, schools goers, please learn things in your life with understanding. Do not be a parrot. Do not be the slave of the system, the system laid by Rockefeller and many other, uh, you know, Western educationalists, which you, you know, think that they are the only solution for us or for you. Please, you have to come out from that bubble, the bubble of haze, the bubble of mystery, the bubble of enigma. This is all not true, guys. You have to think beyond that par excellence. Otherwise, I'm telling you, this bubble the circle, the vicious circle we, has been, we have been circum circumambulating will never go away. It is like a tawaf. You keep doing it for the oscillation. This oscillation has to be cut off. Can you believe any guy or a person who finishes bachelors of business administration and after that he or she is able to know that how the money is being printed? What is this, you know, what you call the value, intrinsic value of something in the monetary system? I don't think so. We do not know how the money is being printed. Yes, we only know what money brings. You print more, you have more debts. But what is this mechanism? How does it work? Who controls the gold? Who makes this gold up and down? On what values you are creating performance related pays of people? How do you decide that this man should deserve this money, this salary? On what grounds? Is it ground of nationalities? Islam doesn't promote that. Islam has no racial slurs, no racial discrimination. Islam is very clear. Anyone who discriminates on the grounds of language, color, riches, or what else will perish. This is the Hadith of Prophet. So tell me, how can we have a system where you can justify that this guy should take this money, for example, a janitor or a president in the company. Janitor is working far ahead than the president as it appears, but look the salary of the president and look at the salary of the janitor. I'm not talking about the president of the country. I'm talking about the president of the company or organization. This is the fact. Now, this system of hierarchy, the values, who laid it through the educational system of Rockefeller? They created this all system that you have this praxis and this praxis of pyramid. This must have this. This guy must have this, not beyond that. So you always be a slave of economics economical slave, money, monetary slave, and you can never come out from this oscillation. It is like a whirlpool or a whirlwind which will suck you down till you reach to your grave. This is the system. There is no other way. You are educated. Your degrees will be only accepted through the standards of Rockefeller. Can you create your own syllabus? your own curriculum, and you boast to the world that this curriculum must be implemented. I said, go and try. Let, let us see. It will not work because the system we have lost. I'm very sad because I belong to educational fields and mashallah. So I'm very sad when I see that Muslims, the way we are derailing ourselves for away and away from the real knowledge and education. Now look at today's era. The one who creates something from materia, from matter, he's a god, inverted commas. They act like gods. They do not think people have any value. Who creates the pioneering engineering? You have many examples in the past, in today's, like iPhone and many other companies they created, like things which were not existing before. And those people are billionaire today. 
Those companies are trillions of their assets or stock market. How it happens? It only happens because they have real knowledge and only few selected people use brains. And those brains, if any third developed country or third developing country, any person tries to make it, they will fix you. In today's era, if you try to make any car which runs through water, purely water, without any mystification, they will <laughs> take you up, they will abduct you. Who? I don't know these secret people, they will abduct you because the billions of dollars have been invested on the other system to find the alternative system, they will not let you do it. This is another problem. Talk about any other thing, for example, medical, pharmaceutical industries. Do you really think that the pharmaceutical industry do not have the cure for cancer or they do not understand the etiology of cancers, diagnosis? What do you think? I personally believe in today's era, these pharmaceutical industries, they do have answers of the, all these things, but they earned billions of dollars through chemotherapy. This is it. This is not simple as we see when the big crocodiles and the claws are too much, you know, stuck into the system. They don't let you go to have another system. Again, like this Jewish banking system, they cannot let you have any other alternative system as long as the system runs on usury. That is the main spine or the bone marrow of all the economical system, usury. All the economical system has been standing on the grounds of usury and interests. If you remove it, everything will be collapsed. If you remove all the system of interest in the world, the Jewish economy will collapse. The banking system will collapse and they come down to zero. So certain people have knowledge, they become God. And we are having only information. That is why we have no value into the world. In this world, right now, we do not have any values. I'm talking about, especially from the Muslims point of view, which is very sad. I'm not saying to go against the education. What I'm saying, please focus on understanding, comprehension, then rather going into the other side and just follow the puppet system that you become something with somehow you pass the exams and you follow the same system, make your CV, go to the jobs and become the puppets of Rockefeller system. This is what I'm saying. We should make our own system and we should make sure that we enforce it. And this is what I have been educating people in all fields in Islam and Islam and Christianity, Islam and Judaism, Islam and science, atheism, skepticism, agnosticism, and fitnight, Dajjal, the commotion of Dajjal, materialism, science with other isms. You want to study? Study. But please study the things properly, deeply, fundamentally, not superficially, because superficial knowledge has no value at all. And remember that knowledge is power not your degrees and papers. Our first revelation was for Muslim, read in thy name of your Lord. So read everything, but please do not forget to put the Quranic glasses before you read and scrutinize.